Hey everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to do some embossing. Um, the items that we are using today is an acrylic pour painting, fully cured and dried, not sealed yet though. This is the one that I went with. Um, and then I've got two stencils, the one with my logo, and then the one with my name. And I'll have to do this kind of in two parts, because I'm going to have this one kind of overlap here. And then we're using the slow drying ink, this uh, clear embossing ink by Stampin' Docious. And then we're using um, embossing powder, the green tinsel by Ranger. And then I've also got some painter's tape just to tape down the stencil so it doesn't move. Um, and all I'm going to do here is just dab on this slow drying ink. You'll see that here in a minute. Sprinkle on the the embossing powder, remove the stencil, remove any excess um, embossing powder that was left behind that's not where I want it to be. Uh, I will use a paintbrush typically for that to get into the areas that I know I don't want it in. Um, you can also just use your hand if it's like a large wide area but you don't want to go over where the ink is. You would just have to reapply it, which will cause more dust areas that you'll have to clean. So you wanna make sure you avoid touching where you want it um, to be. Um, and then we'll hit it with a heat gun. So I'll get started. It's gonna take a lot of time because of how detailed this stencil is. So I'll go ahead and speed you up through this process. Here we are for the close-up. 
And I think maybe choosing the tinsel where it's all glittery was probably not the best idea, as well as with such a um, interesting background, it's really hard to get the, the details of the giraffe. That's why I went ahead and decided to not do the name. So if you're really looking forward to that, we're going to do that on a different video. But we'll do a close-up here real quick. Um, it was also hard because of how different, like it goes from like a black here to like a yellow here, and even white, to tell if it was um, melted, I guess is the best word, like heated. Because um, it changes colors, but the color is going to differ based off of the paint underneath it. So it was really hard to tell if all of it actually got heated properly or not. Um but I still really like it. I definitely learned some things here. I think I definitely made a good idea to remove the uh, the stencil before applying it. Definitely make sure you get all of your areas because that was one of the, the problem areas. The one up here seemed to blend in really well. That one still has a little bit and this one definitely does. But we'll do better next time. Here's the face. That one surprisingly looks really well um, where the tape was, where I taped the head down. That, because of the, the tape residue, the um, embossing powder stuck to it as well. So I had to dust that away. And I think there's even some like at the top or on the side or something I had to dust away. But not a big deal. But yeah. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. And do what makes you happy.